Welcome to another shearing season video where we try to shear every breed of sheep in the UK and today we are in air at Brickrow Beltex to shear some of these beauties. Let's get going. We're doing things a little bit differently today. We're going to shear two different sheep. Same breed, one's male, one's female, and they are both incredible specimens. This is Brickrow Flameproof. What a name, and she is a beast of a sheep. And the second sheep we're going to shear is this guy. This is Ainstable Ferocious. What a name, and what a sheep. Look at the beautiful colors. And the incredible thing is, he's the father of every other ram in this pen. What a boy. Right lad, come on ferocious. He's got that big horn in his head here, it does make him look quite ferocious. Right boy, walk to the board and then I won't have to carry. He's pure muscle, these Beltex, oh jeez. You can, you can see it here. Reminds me a little bit of myself, I must say. Here we go, there's nothing to grab onto here. Can't grab that, grab this. They are so compact and solid. Let's get shearing. At least he's got a bare belly. Okay, boy. An easy start. That's what we like. Oh. He's a little bit sticky, he's had a good winter. So whilst we are shearing this ram, let me tell you some interesting facts about the Beltex breed. They arrived in the UK from Belgium back in 1989. And this flock at Brickrow Beltex was one of the very first established in the UK. The Beltex's double muscle traits brought a totally new dimension to British lamb production. The initial reaction from UK farmers was amusement and then amazement that so much meat could come packed into such a small frame sheep. Especially when Beltex lambs started to monopolise the silverware in prime lamb sales and carcass competitions. Although Ferocious has a lot less wool than most of the sheep we've shown on this channel, he has a tricky one for me to get round mainly because he is a little bit sticky and the wool isn't risen off the skin like it is with a lot of other breeds. It's not a problem, it just means it takes me a little bit longer and I have to go back for a few bits that I missed the first time but we always get there and I'm really starting to enjoy myself. As we come down this last side here, you can see that muscle overhang at his rear end. Double muscle right enough. Okay big boy. You can, you can see this muscle now, look at this. Look at that, that is unbelievable. What a unit. I would say he's like the Beyonce of the sheep world, but she's coming next. Let's get Flameproof in. Flameproof is an appropriate name for this girl because you can see she has a little bit of fire and a little bit of spirit. This sheep here is actually homebred on this farm and half a share of this sheep was sold to another farmer for £4,000, which makes her worth about £8,000 with some quick math. I think she has a rather wilder nature than Ferocious does. I'm conscious she might try and jump out of here, so let's get a hold of her and get her shown and we can get a proper look at the good bits. Cammy's got you. Cammy's got you. Oh, aye. Come on. Oh. Right, I'll never do that again. That was a terrible idea. What, what was that? <laughs> try to carry her. 
get your leg through to straighten out the belly because we've got a lot of wool to take off this time and this will be quite sticky so we need to be careful here. Got to take my time with this sticky wool. Or we could catch a bit of skin, which we don't want to do. And we certainly don't want to catch any of the teats, because they are very important to a female sheep, of course. So the belly was easy to clear there, but as I come into this first leg, you can see that she is probably even stickier than Ferocious was. Just a little bit sticky to get into, but she'll be okay once we get past this bit of the leg. She'll be nice shearing. I do find when I watch this kind of shearing back, it's never as enjoyable to watch because we don't have the flow. There's a lot more work to do here and we have to be careful not to push too hard in case we catch some skin. So I take my time, slowly working around this rear end and then we step up the neck where things are a lot more open. I'm able to get a few nice flowing blows in as we move round into the long blows. Some interesting points when shearing a sheep, this little bit under this front leg, it's very easy to catch a bit of skin when trying to clear that. So I'm being very cautious to tighten the skin with my left hand to prevent any wrinkles getting caught in the shears. And once we have that cleared, we're on to these beautiful long blows. Undoubtedly the favourite part of the sheep for most people and the part where we get the most wool off in each stroke. Long blows complete, we're turning the corner for home and in shearing we call this the money side usually because after you've done this side you'll get paid for shearing the sheep. But I better not count my chickens too soon Let's get these tricky little bits cleared off. Get these big blows down and out this back leg. Just being careful to not push too hard that we catch some skin on the very sticky points at the end. And once that's clear, we just finish off round this muscled area at the back. And you can see she's not quite as extreme muscle as her counterpart Ferocious but she's definitely got those Beyonce vibes. What do you think? Okay, girl. I hate to see her go, but I love to watch her leave. So there we go, we can tick Beltex off the list. We did a ram and a U for you today, and Flameproof has one of the biggest fleeces I've seen on a Beltex. Quite incredible. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and let us know what breed you want us to shear next. Cheers, folks.